Former Microsoft CEO Bill Gates managed to piss off Elon Musk uh, this week. And of course, uh, Elon took it to Twitter with extremely polite and respectful message. I'm kidding. It, well, it did not happen that way, unfortunately. I do have to say that in the last half a year, maybe a little bit more, I've been, a lot of, I've been giving a lot of credit to Elon for kind of turning everything around, right? Kind of from, from, from being this kind of, um, you know, a Twitter troll almost uh, for, for about a year turning back into the the you know Elon Musk that we know love and 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 being respectful being once again the a great leader of Tesla as a company and electric car movement in general under promising and over delivering being respectful to you know a, a, a lot of a lot of people in competitors around him uh you know kind of rooting for other brands uh, creating electric cars it, it, it's been great and i believe that the reason the stock is this high up there not just because of the profits and shanghai factory and the, and the short squeeze and of course all of those are an important part of that but i think elon you know having elon back uh is uh, is definitely a big deal unfortunately that's not what happened this week. I'll tell you about it. And it actually started with uh, with an online interview that Bill Gates uh, gave to Marquez Brownlee, one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. But at the same time, Tesla community has already got something which I think is kind of like... Uh, um, unfortunate going on, um, uh, kind of a little, um, I'll, I'll tell you about it a little bit later, but it does go along with the story. I might make a different video about it, but but I'll tell you about it in, in, in a second as well. By the way, if you're interested, not just in feuds between two billionaires, but also daily electric car news, well, we're the only channel that does that, so you have no choice but to click the subscribe button and then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. And of course, I want to make sure that you understand I just want to give you a, a fair warning. Uh, this video does contain uh, uh, Tesla criticism. We'll criticize Tesla uh, disagreements with Elon Musk. And uh, we will feature uh, technology from non Tesla brand. So if you're in any way uh, sensitive uh, to, or allergic to that type of a comment, I recommend that, you know, maybe take a long bathroom break, uh, take a take a walk or a cat for a walk or iguana, whatever, maybe in Florida. Um, and, and of course, don't forget, uh, and I'm looking forward to your very, very nice uh, comments in the comment section. All right, so let's get going. Now, it all got started with uh, Marquez Brownlee interview with Bill Gates. This is the second time Marquez uh, had him uh, on his channel and you know they were talking about green energy and things were going very well until uh, Bill Gates um, you know kind of uh, admitted that he only now got himself an electric car now that's already kind of weird because uh, I mean he's you know he's he's supposed to be the tech guy right now I, I also <laughs> I'm kind of understand because if 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 Bill Gates was really up there with a, with a cutting edge technology every time I think all of our experiences with windows in the early 90s have been very very different right so anyway so for somehow he managed not to get into an electric car until now except for he told uh marquez that um the car that he picked is a porsche Taycan and not a tesla and um you know he did uh you know praise tesla uh, bill bill uh, gates praised tesla for saying that obviously they're the leader of the electric car revolution and they're definitely kind of dragging every everybody into it he, he did give him some credit but he also emphasized that the electric cars are a bit of a tough sell right now obviously the price you know which he didn't care about but you know most people do so he's right about that but he also said obviously the charging rates um at which you refuel the electric cars are way, way, uh, you know, longer than a, a refueling a gas car. So he kind of, he was right about it. As a matter of fact, I don't necessarily disagree with some of the things that he said. However, he did pick Porsche Taycan. And I'm a little surprised because, you know, I'm not a big Porsche Taycan fan. I have to say it's a fine car. It's a good looking car, but it just loses out on almost every single category to Tesla. Now, I also understand that some people do want to drive a Porsche or maybe like people like me who do want to get uh, customer service is extremely important to them which you don't really get with tesla most of the time that's the reason i stopped buying teslas and once again this is why there are choices this is why it's good that there are choices it's good that porsche Taycan is out there uh, because some people pick that car for their particular needs right all right well so uh somebody pointed this out to elon on twitter and he replied and even though i don't disagree with elon either 
I just not, I'm not really sure that he picked the best way to handle this. And uh, uh, so before I tell you about that, let me remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV called Ambyte coming to the US and Europe next year. I already reserved one uh, and I can't wait. Uh, but if you haven't, there's a link in the description of this video. It takes about a minute of your time. And of course, uh, absolutely no payment. These are absolutely free. So I really have no reason why people, I, idea why people would not do that. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right. So um, Elon, Elon, here's, here's Elon. I'm just going to, I'm just going to show it to you. So uh, <laughs> he basically said, uh, my conversations with Gates have been underwhelming, to be honest. <sighs> Elon, Elon, Elon. So it's, I mean, it's obviously a personal attack, um, which I'm not really sure why. I mean, first of all, yes, I get it. It's kind of weird. First guy, first first car, electric car, the guy can't afford anything. Uh, Tesla's been around for a long time and he didn't bother having one. By the way, obviously Gates can afford a Tesla and a, and a, and a, and a, and a Porsche and a, and, a, and, a, and a small country, right? So it's kind of weird that he didn't bother buy maybe two. Um, so yes, that is a little weird. Uh, but at the same time, you why I personally attack the guy, number two? And number three, you know, Elon's got to understand that, you know, Teslas are not going to be for everybody. Like I said, for me, it's customer service. Tesla sucks at that, so I don't buy Teslas. But I don't go around saying like, no, 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 don't buy Teslas. If you're okay with that, then you what's most important is buying the best car in the world, which Tesla definitely is, then you do that. And to me, as long as you buy an electric car, you're good. So once again, I feel like we're attacking each other within the community. And you know, Elon's supposedly the example for, for, for the electric car community. Why do that? You know, just let it go, man. As a matter of fact, you know, the way he converted uh, Joe Rogan was beautiful, right? He came on to his show. He, he basically dared him to, to get the car and tell him that, hey, you will never experience anything better. Like, do something similar. Now, of course, I wish Marquez Brownlee would do that. Um, I don't he's really I don't think he's a good interviewer. Um, I think he's just kind of there witnessing his own guest really on his channel. And, you know, I said that uh, I also thought he could have done a better job with uh, Elon himself when he had him on the show. But whatever, it's not about Marquez, really. It's a, but, but he could have asked that question. I wish I would have heard the answer. And I think all of us uh, would from, from Bill Gates himself, why he decided to choose Porsche over Tesla. I hope somebody asks them and we can actually kind of have a, a follow up on that. But here's the thing with Elon. Like I said, I'm disappointed because I thought that, you know, he, he started doing better than that. But at the same time, it already plays into another thing that's going on. And I'm probably going to make another video because I think this is another thing that we should talk about as a community. But I'll quickly mention that. As you know, there's a recent report of uh, Porsche Taycan uh, burning down uh, in a garage in Florida. And this is one of the pictures. There is a video of that, but apparently the owners of the house asked, you know, people who posted the video, take it down for their privacy reasons. So I picked a, I picked a frame from that video. So it's not really, you can't really identify anything there. So it doesn't viol violate their privacy. I want to respect that. But this, was, this has happened. And, you know, I run one of the biggest Tesla Model S communities on Facebook and I've noticed that in my community and a few other communities reported that as well that Tesla owners almost celebrated this and I found it almost god what is the word I mean definitely sad but god I'm just gonna go with a f unfortunate but probably a few other words I would like to kind of probably kind of uh, I, I, it's it's you know I understand Tesla got a lot of crap for like five cars burning down uh, when the gas cars go up in flames and killing movie stars all over the place. I get that. But that's not the reason for us as a community or Tesla community in particular to go and celebrate with another electric car brand has the same problem. By the way, we don't know anything about what really happened, right? Remember all this Tesla fanboy saying like, well, we don't know what happened. Let the investigation happen. Well, where are you now? Why are you celebrating this? I find it I find it very unfortunate and it's unfortunate that Elon is kind of putting the 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 the, the uh, gas in the fire pun intended here um, so I really hope I really hope people understand that we really should stick together here and the real enemy is really the gasoline powered cars we want to get rid of those we don't want to get rid of others who are making pretty damn good electric cars and if they have an unfortunate accident 
let's all root for them to make sure first of all it's great that no one died obviously or, or got hurt but i would say why can we root for other guys who are on technically on the same team so gonna make another video about it let me know what you guys think and by the way um i've been traveling a lot lately as you probably know if you want to follow me um and, and see the behind the scenes stuff definitely follow me on instagram under e for electric and of course if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet go ahead and click on the subscribe button that way you won't miss anything moving forward all right let's hear those comments i really hope um they are pro electric car community in general not just pro tesla or anti bill gates or anti uh, porsche looking forward to those other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged